This is a pandemic of the unvaccinated. And it's caused by the fact that despite America having unprecedented and successful vaccination program, despite the fact that for almost five months, free vaccines have been available in 80,000 different locations, we still have nearly 80 million Americans who have failed to get the shot. We start live at four with breaking news to combat what he calls the pandemic of the unvaccinated. President Biden has announced a sweeping six pronged plan to combat COVID this fall, including a vaccine mandate for employers with 100 or more employees. And that new rule will impact over 80 million workers in the private sector. Now, those employees do also have an option instead of the required vaccine. They can instead require weekly COVID testing for for the unvaccinated. Here's a look at the different tiers of the president's plan. The first being vaccinating the unvaccinated. That includes the vaccine requirement we were just talking about. It also requires federal workers to be vaccinated as well as all health care workers at Medicare and Medicaid hospitals. The other five elements are as follows. Further protection for the vaccinated, keeping schools open safely, increasing testing and requiring masking, protecting the economic recovery and improving care for those with COVID-19. A whole lot there. Utah Senator Mike Lee issuing a statement just a short time ago saying in part, Joe Biden has shown a wanton disregard for the U.S. Constitution. As a would-be autocrat, Biden endangers the very fibers of this great nation's freedom and agency are the hallmarks of the American experiment.